Hey guys, Dave with Build Alpha. Uh, another video in the technical analysis back to basic series I'm doing. So Castix arguably, if not the, one of the most popular technical analysis indicators. Um, it is said to have a high degree of accuracy and stochastic is used to show when a stock has moved into an overbought or oversold position. Um, if you watched the RSI video previously, um, you know how much I like to blindly believe overbought and oversold without doing any testing. Just kidding. We're going to be doing some testing of stochastics in this video using Build Alpha. Um, and it should also be noted that uh, to, for many sources, stochastics can be improved when combining it with other indicators like relative strength index. So we're going to test to see if stochastics is viable on its own and if adding RSI uh, improves results. So first, uh, I'm actually going to pull up a chart just so you can see what stochastics is. It oscillates again below 20 is considered oversold and overbought would be above 80. Stochastics is really just a normalization of price. It just looks at the current bars close in relation to the rolling window of the highest high and highest low. So if Stochastics was at 100, for example, we would say that the closing price is at the highest point of the rolling 14 period range. And if Stochastics was at zero, we would say that Stochastics is actually at the lowest point in the, or the close is at the lowest point of the previous 14 bars range. That being said, let's test the opposite of Stochastics oversold underneath 20 and overbought above 80. So I'm just going to type in Stochastics and I'm going to go to Stochastics 14 period. Of course, you can edit it with the par uh, parametric Stochastics. Um, but in this case, let's test the opposite of oversold and overbought. So when Stochastics falls below 20, I'm going to buy. And when Stochastics is above 80, we're going to exit. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that simulation on eight of the most popular ETFs over the last 14, 15 years of data. And you can see that when we enter on stochastics below and exit on stochastics above, it was uh, quite profitable, but obviously some big hiccups. So maybe we can smooth that out by adding RSI as is noted by many. So I'm just gonna come right click, add a rule, type in RSI, Let's just go down RSI and let's say, all right, how about when RSI is above 50? Go ahead, run that. And now we can see these results smoothed out quite a bit, obviously reduced the trade count quite a bit as well. That being said, this is not a standalone strategy. This is not a recommendation. All I'm trying to show you is how to test popular technical analysis ideas, why you should test them as they are often not as true or as firm as they are often marketed and how quickly and easy it is to test and combine price action, technical indicators, volume, non-price-based signals in Build Alpha. Get the results you're after to hopefully compete in a competitive way in today's modern markets. Hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next one in the series.